Rejection sampling is a popular stochastic method for approximating a posterior distribution. It can be used to draw a sample from a target density P or its unnormalized version Q. In order to perform rejection sampling, we need to have a distribution with density G such that we can draw a realization from the distribution defined by G. Anywhere the target density is positive, G must also be positive. There must be a constant m such that the importance ratio p over g is bounded by m for all values of theta. The implementation of the rejection sampling algorithm only involves a few steps. Step 1 is draw a value theta star from g. Step 2, accept theta star as coming from p with probability p divided by mg where p and g are evaluated at theta star. If you reject the proposed value of theta star, return to step one. Otherwise, keep the value as part of your sample. Step three is to repeat step one as many times as necessary in order to get the number of samples you desire. Here are a few tips when doing rejection sampling. First, the unnormalized density q is almost always used instead of p. You don't have to make any changes to the algorithm except using q instead of p. The fact that the importance ratio is bounded ensures that our acceptance probability is always less than or equal to 1. Ideally, you want the bounding function m times g to be as close to the target density as possible while still remaining above it. When thinking about how to make the decision regarding whether the sample value theta star drawn from g should be retained, we draw a value u from a uniform zero mg theta star distribution and keep theta star if u is less than or equal to the target density evaluated at theta star. Let's do a quick example. Suppose the unnormalized density is theta times 1 minus theta over the interval 0, 1. This is bounded by the uniform 0, 1 density, so we can choose g to equal the uniform density over the interval 0, 1. The mode of the unnormalized density occurs at 0 0.5, and the height of that mode is equal to 0 0.25. So we'll pick our bounding constant m to be 0.25. The following graphic displays the target density q in black and the bounding function m times g in blue. The location of the mode is shown by the vertical line. To draw a sample from our target density, we draw a value theta star from the uniform 0, 1 density, which is our g. Let's say we draw theta star equal to 0 0.6. We need to decide whether to keep theta star as a sample from our target density. Note that if we evaluate the bounding function, g times m, at 0 0.6, we get 0 0.25. If we evaluate the target density at 0 0.6, we get 0 0.24. Thus, we draw u from a uniform 0, 0 0.25 density, where the upper bound comes from evaluating g times m at theta star. If u is less than or equal to 0.24, then we accept theta star as a sample from the target density. Otherwise, we draw a new value of theta star from g and repeat the process again.